everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm now actually in my new apartment, so I've been quite busy the last um, few days moving and unpacking, packing and all that kind of thing, so just organizing, putting things away. Um, I got into thinking that I wanted to do a video talking about fear of weight gain. Now I've noticed that the majority of my audience are maybe young women who have come from either eating disorders or restrictive eating in some sense and they're afraid that once they start eating more, they're eating more in abundance, they're eating the proper amount of calories that their body does actually need and they're worried that they're going to gain weight or they're worried about eating specific foods or eating more of certain foods that they will gain weight automatically. Now I just wanted to talk a little bit about this fear, um, this fear that's associated with eating more or eating certain foods that you're not used to. This this fear and this this scary thought or this anxiety or this um, this feeling that you get from wanting to eat more or increasing your calories, it all has to do with the fear of gaining weight and the fear of getting fat. I just wanted to chime in on that and say. What is so horrible about that? If you, let's say if you start eating a little bit more, the energy that your body needs, and you go through this metabolic adaption period, this metabolic damage place that you need to get in order to get around that and, and eventually eat the proper amount of food that your body needs and to maintain a healthy weight. Um, yes, I do believe in metabolic damage. It's actually, the term is actually metabolic adaption where your body go th goes through a short period of time where you may uh, maintain your weight or you may gain weight instead of losing weight. Um, the reason for this is because your body has adapted to the lower amount of calories so it tries to hold on to the weight and it does that as a survival mechanism. So if you've been eating too little calories, too little amount of calories or too little amount of food for a long period of time, your, your stomach shrinks and your body adapts to that by slowing down your metabolism so that you basically can remain relatively healthy while eating a small amount of food. So if you're coming to a state where now you need to eat more calories, you know you need to get healthy, you need to heal from your eating disorder, or you just know you're not eating enough, you feel fatigued, you get headaches, you get, I don't know, cramping, soreness, you, your recovery times aren't good from exercise or workouts, then you know you need, to, you need to eat more food. And to slowly increase your calories, it's a very scary thing because you're all, it's always in your mind, oh, I'm eating too much food, I'm eating more food than I normally eat, and I'm afraid I'm gonna gain like 10 pounds in a week. I wanna reassure you that this metabolic adaption period, whether you just maintain weight or gain a little bit of weight, it's not gonna be much, it's not gonna be huge, it's not gonna be ridiculous, as long as you, you are eating the correct amount for your body. If you go through a time period where you need to gain a lot of weight and you need to eat like 3,000 plus calories and be sedentary, then yes, you're gonna gain a lot of weight quickly, but that may be healthy, healthy for that person or that situation. I'm talking about someone who, let's say they've been eating maybe 1,500 to 1,700 calories and they need to eat 2,000 calories or more, maybe 2,000 to 2,300 calories. And you begin increasing maybe a couple hundred calories each day and you get to that certain amount. Let's say you gain, I don't know, one to three pounds in a week and then you just plateau, you stay at that weight before your, vent, your body eventually adjusts and then lose the weight. So I just wanted to say, you're not gonna gain like 10 pounds, you're not gonna gain like 15 pounds or 20 pounds just from slowly increasing, uh, adjusting your body to get to that point. Do not fear weight gain, do not fear fat gain. Yes, it might be possible, it might be possible for some bodies to experience that, but in the most, in, in, in the most cases, and the people who, I've, who I have dealt with, um, whether that's clients or just, I don't know, someone who's asked for my advice, I say increase your calories by a little amount, 100, 200, 300 calories per day, and slowly get to the place that you need to be, you know your body needs to be in order to maintain a healthy body weight. And that should prevent a huge spike in weight gain or fat gain, and your body can slowly adjust to that, um, that amount of calories that you've, you've changed over time. Um, and don't fear, don't have the fear that you're gonna gain all of a sudden like 5, 10, 15, 20 pounds in a week because it's just not possible, it doesn't happen. As long as you are eating the correct amount of food for your body, do not fear. I mean, there's worse things to, um, there's worse things in this world than to gain one or two pounds per week, which might happen to you, but again, it's not that big of a deal. Think of it as this, put, make yourself a list or make yourself 
um, think about in your mind the really important things in your life and what is more important than gaining a couple pounds and probably a couple pounds that your body does need or it's not like it's not going to kill you it's not going to give you heart disease it's not going to give you stroke for having i don't know a couple of extra pounds on your body at a time and that weight is most likely going to drop off anyway once your body gets to healthy metabolism so do not so do not fear weight gain do not fear this whole um, increasing your calories if it's something that you need to do. And if it's something that you need to do, your body needs the extra weight or it needs the extra energy. So eventually it's gonna balance out and you're gonna be healthy. So don't stress about it, don't be anxious. And I'm here to say it's okay. Um, that's pretty much everything for this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you're new here to my channel, subscribe for more because I help you guys live a healthy vegan lifestyle. I will see you next time. Bye.